Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, I just watched a, another horror movie on Tubi, and this movie was called Tell Me a Creepy Story. And it's a 2023 film that released just, just recently on August 21st. And uh, the official synopsis is a collection of horror stories features some bone-chilling tales dealing with serial murders, home invasions, insatiable hunger, and more. And so, like, at first I thought this was going to be a, um, uh, just, you know, when, when you hear the description collection of, you think of an anthology, but it's not an anthology because none of the uh, stories are related. It's just, like, four horror shorts put together and released um, under the title Tell Me a Creepy Story. Um, and it works for this. Um, if you're trying to, like, find a connectivity uh, in it, you won't. Um, so, but the stories are, are labeled as story one, two, three, and four. Um, the first couple had, like, such um, little dialogue, but the stories were really good. The first one was so bizarre and a little gross. Um, if you don't like the sounds of people eating food or chewing. Um, it's really gross. And eating with their hands, you know, like not using utensils. Um, so that that's a story about a kid uh, and his mother. And the kid just has this insatiable um, hunger uh, right from birth all the way uh, into adulthood. So it, it, this short horror film, story takes you through basically his life um but it also shows like the descent into madness that i like to call it of the mother um and and the acting is really good again not very much dialogue at all um but there's some interesting imagery throughout it and then just like the gross out factor of of uh all the times that he's eating and how much he's eating and then how it progresses as he gets older. So that was a good good start to this um, horror collection. It's not an anthology. Um, the second story uh, about a beekeeper who accidentally kills his wife and uh, disposes of her in the garden. And uh, that one also gets a little intense and gets has some gross moments. Uh, again, some good imagery. These two first stories were shot very, very good. The sound was excellent. The music matched the scenes, in my opinion. Uh, very creative, both of these two stories. They were very creative. Um, and gross. There was like some really gross um, moments in them. I, I don't know that I found any scare moments. So... Again, also, if you're looking for, like, jump scares or, or that kind of uh, horror collection of stories, um, this won't be it. But it's definitely, um, for the most part, each one of these ha is a pretty good story, and it's filmed very well. Um, I think this was in the UK. Um, yeah, so the countries were France, United States, and the United Kingdom. So there's some accents and things. But they're, the first three, especially the first two, there's such little dialogue that if, if accents bother you, it's not a big deal. Um, this, the third story, I, I was kind of lost. If I had to choose the weakest of the three stories, this one would be it. Um, I, I thought at first it was about a story about a babysitter. Um, and I guess in, the, in that synopsis, the home invasion, I guess this is being considered a home invasion um, story. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best one for me, but it ended on a good story. Um, it was a timepiece, like in the 50s, with a missionary um, who they introduce and seems by the, his introduction that he's not necessarily a really good guy. And then he's going to go to uh, spread the good word. I think this was actually titled The Good Word, yeah. Um, so this missionary is going to go out. The place that he chooses happens to be um, 
like this farm that are their butchers and it's the the wife answers the door uh reluctantly only after um the missionary identifies himself as a missionary and that he's there to spread the word and so she lets him in they get talking the husband comes in and uh you're kind of just waiting because you know that this missionary isn't necessarily a good guy by the way that he was introduced so um it's an interesting story there's some good uh, dialogue. This one was the most dialogue driven of all the stories uh, and it was really well done. So um, yeah, this is on Tubi for free. So it's a 2023 film. If you want to check out, it's uh, what did I, uh, one hour and 26 minutes long. Um, but with, with these kinds of movies like anthologies and these, I like them because you can pause in between stories and, and you can pick up where you left off if you're in between doing things. So I recommend this one, maybe skip the third. Um, and since they're not connected in any way, you're not going to lose out on any impactful ending. But uh, let me know what you're watching on Tubi TV. And uh, thanks for tuning in to this review. Have a great day. Thank you.